Right, along these lines, then, let me ask, this is an obvious place to ask the nothing question. You've set me up perfectly, Sean, because here's the problem, right? Which is if someone's a really casual fan, right? Nothing is one of the big names in Counter-Strike. If people don't know, if, you, if people go down that list of names, which funnily enough, some of these classic names are still bigger than the Zewoos and the, the best players now. If you go down the list of names, you know, of like Get Right, Pasha, Scream, I'll give Jordan his credit. He's on that list. He's one of those like iconic players that everyone knows and is super popular. But the reason I set that up like this, Sean is because he's almost universally loved. Everyone loves his style of players, personality, but what they might not know is behind the scenes, like you say, there were certain aspects that could, some people didn't like. Like, first of all, I mean, I, f- I believe he's been fairly open about this now and he's obviously not like an actual pro anymore. He's someone who smoked weed. Now, look, that doesn't have to be a big deal like a lot of people do, but in his case, I would say combine that with sometimes being, I wouldn't even say he's a pure slacker. He's more someone who likes to have fun, which sometimes means you slack instead of doing hard work and things that are boring. There's definitely that aspect so, for example, if someone's a super tryhard, they're not going to vibe with that. Then, even though, like you say, I, I agree. If you want, like, the personality balance of the team, it's a concept I've had to learn myself over the years, mate. I'm like every HLTV fan. Back in the day, I would have just put all the skilled players and made the star team. But what you learn over the years is the social dynamic definitely affects how good the team is and whether it can even work. So, even though he brings, he definitely brings some positives to that, some people would also say... Some people found him annoying to play with, or in your case, maybe he didn't always remember the strat. This from that famous clip, if everyone remembers, where like in the like ESL mod, you're like, <laughs> you're telling him like, save this round. He's like, I bought a Galil. It's like, what the f- bro, we're at like the fucking major now. We're like, or probably gonna like. So there's certain things. But so there's certain things that like uh, they're funny to say about now in a video. But I can see why this would annoy some people. But as you said, to you, like. What he brought to the team made it worth it, essentially, even if it's difficult to deal with. Yeah, I, th- I think like he, all of those things may, were just things I just knew I was getting with the package, right? And I grew up in you know the CS 1.16 with nothing. Like I remember him just terrorizing that scene and everyone thinking he was cheating. I remember nothing oh, but like so like I. I knew his star player potential. I saw it so many times. Like I knew what he was capable of. I thought he was very good at communicating, like way ahead of his years. Oh, like okay. he he was really good at expressing his feelings and uh, letting the team know like kind of what he wanted. But he had so many problems at the time with like what he wanted to do within the game. Like he didn't know like. And that drew, I forgot about this. That drove Hiko a little crazy because Jordan wanted to be like the entry fragger. Then he wanted to yeah. be the support player. If people don't know, leader. there's a weird thing where he had, I remember actually talking about this from 1.6. He had some weird thing, Sean, where he believed like that if you're skilled like him, you should try and be like an all round player and you should be able to do every role like you're saying. Whereas like what, what you're getting at is if me or you had to like, you know, like, like let's say it was like Space Jam. It's like we have to win one match against aliens. We would just put him as like, I don't know, like an entry fragger or something and just tell him like go in now. But he had he did like you're saying he wanted to do everything he wanted to i want to be like the clutch master who wins then but also like i want like secondary he did he, he thought he could do everything in the game right yeah i well we had him in like an entry role i think it was like him and it was weird because we had no like true entry at the time so i remember i was like opping but like i would also end up like entering at times like it was so fucking weird because jordan didn't really have like uh that mentality to like be willing to run in and just kind of like die for the team so that way we could get the right spacing and trading. But I also think he would have been fucking insane in that. He would have been the best entry he writer would. in the world. Yes, his name was mega, he, yeah. It, he would have been. But those star play, like star player mentality is like they don't want to do that. Yes. Which is why eventually we ended up bringing like Freakazoid into the team. Like we wanted someone to do that. We wanted someone to just be willing to die for the team so that way we understood exactly how to like kind of enter the site like say like you do an exec like the the entry is like slightly ahead and once that person gets kind of shot or figures out stuff you know like everything is so easily solved at that point um but jordan didn't really like he would do it but he would be very hesitant which would then like mess up the timings a little bit uh it wasn't a good role for him it, it really wasn't like at the time and we were kind of like you know jamming you know, the square peg into the round hole kind of thing. And that w- that was a huge problem, I think. To see more cool, funny, interesting clips based on topics from my content, well, subscribe to this channel then, or, you know, be a pleb and don't.